pretty uh, pretty dangerous conditions early, weren't they? Really wet, the ball was slippery, and uh, they were sort of missing you a lot going into the four line. I noticed you were getting a little bit cranky. Sort of looked like a bit like a bloke up in the box in Matty Richardson a couple of times. Really, were you getting angry in your old age? Old age? I don't know oh. the sound of that. Um, yeah, look, we, we probably didn't execute the way we wanted to play early. I thought, you know, thought we controlled the game pretty well. We just couldn't get the score on the board, but obviously got on top in the third quarter and uh, you know, I thought the last, last half was pretty convincing. Started seeing them mate, beautifully in that last half of footy you just mentioned there, taking really good grabs and uh, one thing that does concern me though is when Cozzy gets anywhere near you, surely, can you see him out of the corner of your eye? I saw though, I thought there was one there late in the, uh, yeah. or early in the last quarter where it, it could have been very ugly but uh, we managed to see each other at the last second and he kicked the goal which was good but uh, we work in pretty well up there. We've uh, you know, been up there together a long time and got good chemistry, so it's good. We had all of our hearts in the mouth on that one you described. Uh, Nick, congratulations on the, on the result tonight and another grand final look. Just tell us, in the third quarter, you kicked a couple of goals. You were quite brilliant in the third quarter. You appeared to get momentarily knocked out. What we, Did you feel that or not? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'd I didn't, I don't, I'm not too sure what happened there, to be honest. Uh, the, the docs got out of me pretty quickly, but I, um, I, I felt fine. Uh, I think I was just a bit dazed, but um, I was able to run out of the game, which was <laughs> pleasing. Nick, you'll eventually see the vision. The vision was quite scary, so obviously it didn't look you know, looked like you almost were having a, a, a mild convulsion for a second yeah. or two. But anyway, good, great to see that uh, that you, uh, you're you OK. And, the, the, the half-time changed because it just looked like you just couldn't get anything going in the first half, That, but then the momentum, you just got it going in the third. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, and you've, you've spoken to the group about it before, I think, our, you know, the tackle count as well in the second half, we really ramped it up in that area. Um, you know, we played the, there was a more contested game, which is, which was what we wanted, um, you know, so that's what we like to hang our hat on and uh, no, I think the execution obviously with the ball in the conditions it was pretty greasy out there so I thought we were just a lot more efficient the way we used the ball in the second half and were able to score. Rui it's uh, Rich up here mate congratulations into another granny and I thought you won the game for your team in the, the third quarter just looking ahead to next week we're talking to Lee I'm just wondering who your opponent might be who do you think will pick you up? Um, I obviously don't like to preempt you know selection from other teams or anything but uh, Pressy and I have played on each other the, the last few times. I'm not too sure where he's at, and you know, obviously they've got their, uh, they've got some great defenders back there in, in, in Maxwell and, and uh, Brown and Reid, being able to, to do the job. But uh, it's more their team defence and the way they work together and, and uh, roll across and support each other that um, I think makes them makes them so strong. They're you know a pretty pretty uh, settled um, and cohesive unit down there. Nick, congratulations on getting to another grand final. I think that's the, that's the hardest part about winning a premiership is actually getting there to get that opportunity. So congratulations. I asked Lenny Hayes the same question. What did you learn last year about the build-up? You yourself as a, as a person with your build-up and your leadership role at the club, what will you change or what will you make more of an effort to do this year? Uh, probably won't change too much, to be honest. You know, Right the way through, we, we focus on our preparation. Um, Obviously, there's a there's a big prize at the end of it, but we we'll, you know we'll treat it like round 26. Um, you know, like we did tonight was r round 25. So our preparation will stay the same. Um, obviously, there's a a few little things that are, are a bit unique to the grand final, like the parade and that sort of stuff the day before. But apart from that, it'll be uh, business as usual, and, and we'll prepare and go about it in the same manner we always do. Well done, Nick. Got a shot of it next week. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Nick Rewald down well there with uh, Scotty Cummings is going to check out that report for.